Good evening, everybody. I'm on my own. This is going to be chaos, but welcome to the opening night of League Geek Teams Tournament. We've got a fantastic match in for you tonight. Uh, there's a reason why I'm hosting solo, and that is because we have the number four seed, Unlimited Power Trip, versus the number 13 seed, the Golden Thieves. And I've just realized this light, it's like Chris Diaz is here. It's crazy. So we're just going to move that. Oh, Joe's playing movie trivia, Jerry. Oh, it's crazy. Um, I'm really looking forward to this match, but because I'm here on my own, I've got no one to banter with, so I'm just going to go straight into the promos and we'll just see what happens. She's been Hi, months. Brian. Hey, Brandon. How long has it been, man? About six months, 14 days. God, six months, 14 days. You know, I think they're out to get us, man. They're putting up, putting up against us, against David and Alex. They're really good. What are they, the number four seed? We're 16? Exactly. Conspiracy, man. Uh, I know but you know what? Six months is a long time for us to get better and synergize. And, and you know what it's time for now? I think it's time for us to take these band-aids off and kick some butt. Yep. Punch me, David. Punch me right in the face. We're finally <laughs> in the Ontario Geek Teams tournament. Oh, round number one. And they tried to, honestly, Golden Thieves, they're trying to take out the power. They're trying to steal our rightful position. But as my dear old um, Uncle Frank found out when he died <laughs> by electrocution, there really is only so much power you can take. And, uh, the name implies. The name says it all. We've got unlimited power. So let's see how much they can see how long they can go. Uh, David, with your permission, let's get it's, back to work. It's funny how you make so many references that not, probably nobody will <laughs> will get except me. Only the real ones will get this reference. <laughs> let's go, Rip Uncle Frank. <laughs> People like to think they have unlimited power, but at the end of the day, I'm in charge of this stream, I'm in charge of the document, and I'm the champ of this division. Twice. But I've got no one to ban it with, so we're just going to bring people in. So uh, introducing first um, is the number 13 seed. It's Brian Nussbaum, Brendan Dunlap, it's the Golden Thieves. How are you doing this evening, gentlemen? Well, it's been six months, four years, as we said, since our last match here. Let's, and see. You put Let's see if we can get you back in a little bit quicker. Because introducing your opponents, the number four seed, David, the Spaniard Garcia, and Alex Martinez. It is unlimited power trip. Drop <clears throat> my pen. Yeah. I can keep an eye on it this way. This is this is good. Yeah, that's fine. How are you guys doing? I'm fine. Alex? <laughs> he had pizza. Uh, I don't know how to <laughs> feel about that. He ate the entirety. He ate during the entirety of the promo. So I think he's going to do the next one. I feel good. I subbed it. I was going to go for pizza. I had chicken instead. <laughs> I didn't get pizza. Time. I'm just saying. I could have I eaten pizza. Right. Let's get into this because otherwise we can just talk about pizza all night. Should we do no see no pizza? Still a conspiracy, Brian. Pizza time. Sorry, Joe. Go ahead. So this is first round of the tournament. So you guys should know how it works by now. Round one is the whiteboard round. Uh, I'm going to ask you a question. You're going to have about 15 seconds to answer it. You're going to write it on your boards. I'm going to call on each one of you individually. You're going to show me your answer and vocalize your answer. Uh, there's a point for each correct answer. There's no stealing involved. There's no collaboration between teams. Uh, you each have three repeats and a challenge to be used at any point during the match. Uh, any questions? No. 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 You get ten questions unless you get a bone. Unless you get all ten right, then you're going to get a bonus question. In which case, Alex may very well dab, even if it's his opposition getting a bonus round. <laughs> Let's get into it. Uh, your first question is going to come in the category of DC. Robert Wall plays journalist Alexander Knox in which DC movie? Usually the silence is saved for round two and three when it gets more serious, but with just me here, there may be a bit of silence between things. I can't even talk about this movie because it would give it away. 
So I'm going to make sure I can see everyone's hands, which I can. Let's do that. I'm going to give it five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. We'll start with David. Batman, 1989. And Alex. Batman, 89. Brandon. Uh, Batman, 89. And Brian. I wish that Pokey Lantern. Batman 1989 is correct. So, Unlimited Power, you're starting off with a 2 1 lead as we move into your next question, which comes in the category of Marvel. Where specifically is Peter Parker when he first discovers his new abilities in The Amazing Spider Man? I had to deep cut this one recently, and I had a blast. I think. I'm bonded with my best friend over Spider-Man, Sam Raimi Spider-Man. But this, this, this one, having seen it a couple more times now, it's grown and grown and grown on me. Yeah, same here. Five, <clears throat> four, three, two, one. Pens down. We'll go to Alex. Bathroom. Uh, Brandon. I put subway train. Brian. I believe it's all subway train. And David. Subway. Subway is correct. So tying it up three to three. Uh, David and Brandon, yet to miss, but we're only two questions in. It's not a jinx if it's only two questions in. We're going to move into your next question, which comes in the category of Star Wars. The character of Yoda physically appears in how many Star Wars movies? When you say physically. Force ghosts count. Okay. Okay. I'm I'm sorry. Did you say they do count? I apologize. They do. Okay. Oh fuck. Just voice. When it, it's just the voice, that doesn't count. Physically. I knew there'd be clarification on this one. But it's a fair point. Four. Five, four three. Two. One. Pens down. Pens down, please. And we're going to go to Brannon. Six. Uh, Brian. Okay. Okay. It is six. David. Seven. And Alex. Nothing about that. I said nine. I had. I was counting up here. But... Seven. Yeah. Seven is correct. We Clone Wars, guys. Clone the Wars. original Clone trilogy. Wars. The Clone Wars. Oh, shoot. Movie. Forgot about Clone Wars. I thought Clone Wars was a, I thought Clone Wars was a, was a voice, so I didn't think I counted, so that's my bad. I'm sorry. I, I heard physically. Yeah, that's yeah, okay. Um, so we're going to move on to your next question, which comes in the category of mixed bag. And the question is simply, who directed 300? I watched a movie recently. In one of my favorite genres. I can talk about it because it's not involved here. It's James Bond. Uh, the star of this movie has a very small appearance uh, in Tomorrow Never Dies, and it was quite fun. It was quite fun. Like, Hang on. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. We're going to go to Brian. Zack Snyder. David. Zack Snyder. Alex. Zack Snyder. And Brandon. Zack Snyder. Clean sweep. Yeah. That makes to here. Next question. She's going to come in the category of, oh, it's one of my favorites. It's Star Trek. What ultimately happens to Khan at the end of Star Trek Into Darkness? I mean, if I really wanted to fill the silence, I could just sing Star Trek in Across the Universe, but that's not going to happen. If you haven't heard it, you're in, you're in for a treat. Five, four, three, two, one. Hands down, and we're going to start back up with David. I said he's frozen. Alex. Dies in an explosion? Brandon. I put jettisoned with his crew. And uh, Brian. I put got sucked into space. David is correct. He is frozen. Oh. <clears throat> put back oh. in his cryo tube. That's right. I thought he was jettisoned after that, my bad. 
as we move on to your next question, which is going to come in the category of the MCU. Which MCU movie features a fight between multiple characters at Leipzig Airport? I was about to say something, and then I realized where the quote was from. And it's actually from this movie, so I can't say it. It's been a while since I've been to an airport. Greece, back to London. Hopefully next year, LA and Hawaii. But we'll see. Five, four, three, two, one. Don't judge me, Alex. Pens down. We're going to go to Alex. I was hoping you were talking about the musical, Greece. Uh, Captain America, the Civil War. Brandon. Captain America, Civil War. Brian. My second MCU film, Captain America, Civil War. And David. Captain America, Civil War. Clean sweep again. As we move on to your next question, we're going to come in the category of the DCEU. Who plays Jonathan Kent in the MC, in the DCEU? I need to the MCU. I caught myself. I've had Zack Snyder mentioned. I'm confusing the DCEU for the MCU. This is going. <laughs> oh, the comment is going to be crazy. Five. Four, three, two, one. Pens down. We'll start with Brandon. Uh, Kevin Costner. Brian. Kevin Costner. David. Kevin Costner. And Alex. Kevin Costner. Oh, we've had two clean sweeps in a row. You love to see it. Gotta love it. <laughs> <clears throat> Moving on uh, to your next question. We should have come in the category of Middle Earth. How are the characters Gimli and Gloin related? I didn't need to mention a movie because multiple appearances. Hmm. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, let's go to Brandon. I put nephew and uncle, like, for both of them. Like, I don't know. Brian. I put their cousins. David. Father and son. And Alex. Father and son. Father and son is correct. Gimli, son of Gloy. Should Moving on to your penultimate question, potentially, which is in the category of sci-fi killers. What type of vehicle is the headquarters of the human resistance in Terminator Salvation? I saw a tweet the other day, someone asking about when the Terminator movies are going to do a movie about the future war. And I'm like, you got it. And it was this. It, honestly, it's not that awful. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Five, <clears throat> four, three, two, one. Pens down. We'll start with Brian. I put a boat. David. A submarine. Alex. Ship. And Brandon. I don't want to show my answer. It's stupid. Tank. Submarine <laughs> is correct. So, so is it just David who has that one? Yep. We have a score of 14 to 9 going into the final question of the round. Uh, David, if you hit this, you will get a perfect round. And your category is Wizarding World. Shut up. <laughs> Who has played Albus Dumbledore in the most Wizarding World films? Like a good round one of a tournament. Sometimes you get the upset. <laughs> We've had it before. I remember once there was a number 16 seed that went all the way through and, and won a tournament. It was amazing to see. Um, I remember that. It was cool. It was good, good, good times. Five, <laughs> four, three, two, one. Hands are down. We're going to go back round to David. Michael Gambon. Alex. Michael Gambon. Brandon. Michael Gambon. And Brian. 
Michael Gambon. We end with a clean sweep and we end with a perfect round number one. So, David, this question will be, and I'm going to borrow something from another division here, to you, only to you. Uh, just keep your hands on screen, don't need any pens there. David, this question is for you only for the true perfect round. Your bonus question. Which actor has played an MCU executioner, a DC CIA operative, and a Middle Earth man? Carl Urban. For the true perfect <clears throat> round. But at the end of round number one, we have a score of 17 to 11. Uh, so we're going to move straight into round number two. Round number two works a little bit differently than it does in other places. Before this match, each team gave us a category they wanted taken off of our category randomizer. Uh, we then spun that randomizer three times. It gave us three categories. Uh, the team in the lead will decide whether they want to choose their category first. They'll also decide whether they want to go first or second in answering questions. Uh, whatever category is not picked will be saved for round three, which is over there apparently. Uh, and that's pretty much where we are. You'll get five questions in each category, uh, each worth two points unless you opt for multiple choice, in which case they'll be worth one point. Stealing, though, is available. Watch out, as another host may say. Unlimited power trip, you are in the lead. Would you like to choose? Oh, the categories, though, available are The Wizarding World, DCEU, and Quotes. So would you like to choose your category first or second? So, Alex. Yeah. Choose first, choose first, first, right? Yeah, you want to choose first. All right. What would you like to choose? Do you want to do what we talked about in the end? Because we talked a lot, and I... We talked a lot. I, I do, you, do you want to do DC, EU, or Wizarding World? Let's go first and do Wizarding World. All right. I got because you. we have, like, what, a six-point lead? Yeah. 17 or 11. Let's do that. Let's do that. So Wizarding World, and you'll be answering first, correct? Yep. Yes. Okay, okay. And Golden Thieves, uh, the two categories remaining are DC, EU, and quotes. What would you like for your round two option? I mean, last time we, we got DC, EU was... We got, we well, it was it's not that well, so you want to go the other one, Brandon, or? Um, yeah, yeah, we can go with quotes, that's fine. Okay. Quotes for us. Quotes, please. Quotes it is, which means the DCEU will be moved to round number three. Uh, you opted to go first. Unlimited power trip, since I'm the only one here, I'm going to be asking you your questions. Uh, Wizarding World questions, uh, hands on screen at all times, uh, including golden themes. Be prepared for any steal should they be available. I know, Patrick, are you ready for your questions in the Wizarding World? Let's do it. Yep. In Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, Harry uses Expelliarmus to disarm Snape and what other character? Oh. Does he disarm Wormtail? Or yes, five. yes, yes. Four. Hit it. Warm tail. Final answer. That is correct for two points. Yes, nice one. Your second question: Which Wizarding World movie features a character given the title Hogwarts High Inquisitor? Order of the Phoenix. Sandwich. Yeah, go ahead. Order of the Phoenix. Final answer. That is correct for two points. Your third question. John Cleese appears in how many Wizarding World movies? Shit. Counting question. Um, so the first two of... for sure, right? Yeah. We can burn a repeat if you need it. Prisoner? Five. I don't oh. seem to remember him in prison. Repeat. repeat. John Cleese appears in how many Wizarding World movies? Is he in any of the later ones, like I, Goblet? I don't remember him. I mean, we may as well go to, if they steal, we have a six point lead. Four, That's fine. Three. Two, final answer. That is correct for two points. There you go. Your penultimate question in the Wizarding World. 
Which chess piece takes out Ron during the giant chess game in Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone? Is it the knight? No, no he, he the, is the knight. He's okay, taken, no, he is the knight. He's but taken out by the... Out. Do you need a specific? Like the color? No, just, just the piece. piece. Okay, so just the queen. The okay, go ahead. The queen, final answer. That is correct for two points. Your final question in the Wizarding World. Who is revealed to be Credence's father at the end of ha uh, Fantastic Beasts, The Secrets of Dumbledore? Aberforth. Dumb yeah, Aberforth. Go ahead. Aberforth, uh, Dumbledore, final answer. For two points and the clean sweep of the Wizarding World. So that, that takes <laughs> the points total for Unlimited Power Trip up to 27. Uh, Golden Thieves, are you ready for your questions in quotes? Let's do this. Sure. Your first question, in quotes. In which Marvel movie will you hear the quote, the distant cathedral is all I see, fractured angel, the other part of me? Where is he, companion? I want to, I want to say Hellboy, but I'm not 100% sure. You are, we'll trust this. Sure. Let's go ahead. Multiple, multiple choice. choice, please. Okay, your multiple choice options are is it A, Morbius, B, Venom Let There Be Carnage, C, Men in Black 2, or D, Punisher Warzone? Okay, I want to say Venom Let There Be Carnage now. Yeah, I agree with that. I remember that line. Okay. Venom Let There Be Carnage, final answer. That is correct for one point. As soon as you said Venom, I was like, ah, oh, that's it. Yes. <laughs> your second question, in quotes. At the end of Star Trek Beyond, all of the main characters speak a portion of the captain's oath. Which character says the line, space, the final frontier? Ooh, do, you know, do you have a guess, uh, Bannon? I want to say Kirk. Or, oh, See, either Kirk or Spock, which are you leaning towards? I'm leaning more towards Kirk. How how confident are you on this one? Five. I'm more confident than Kirk than with Spock. Cool. Okay, Kirk final answer. That is correct for two points. Yes. Nice. Nice. Your third question in quotes. Which Avengers first line on screen in the MCU is when I'm king, I'll hunt the monsters down and slay them all. Ooh. Do you, do you know which one? Do you have a, a guess, uh, Um. Can you get? Can we get a? Yeah, uh, we'll, a, a repeat. Yeah, we'll, 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 repeat, please. Okay, that's uh, Golden Thief's first repeat, and the question again: Which Avengers first line on screen in the MCU is "When I'm king, I'll hunt the monsters down and slay them all." Do you have a guess? Or? I can't. I, I'm thinking T'Challa, but he's the only king I can think of. Do you want multiple choice this one? Just be yeah, safe. let's multiple choice, please. Yes. Okay, your multiple choice options are, is it A, T'Challa, B, Loki, C, Thor, or D, Killmonger? Uh, Where are you leaning towards? I'm leaning towards Loki now, actually. Yeah, I'm yeah, leaning Loki, too. Sort of okay. Like him. Do you want to go with Loki? Sounds like a Loki thing. Four. Yeah, Loki final answer. Three. Unlimited power trip. Chance for the one point still. Your options once again are A to Charla, B Loki, C Thor, or D Killmonger. It's Thor. It's Thor. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Thor final answer. That is correct for the one. 50, 50 on this one. Yeah, one. I know. It's okay. Your penultimate question, Golden Thieves, in the round of quotes. Complete the quote from Princess Leia in A New Hope. Will someone get this big blank out of my way? And we're looking for two words. Will someone get this big furry carpet out of my way? Yeah, how confident this one? Oh, hold on. It could be furry carpet or walking carpet. I think it's walking carpet. You, you confident this one? I'm confident with walking carpet, yeah. Okay, let's go with that one. Final right. answer. Four. Walking carpet. Final answer. That is correct for two points. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh. I be so close. <laughs> and your final question in quotes 
which sci-fi killer's character says the quote, there are 216 bones in the human body. That's one. Uh, do you have a guess on this world or? I'm thinking Dutch from Predator, but I, you all, I don't know his last name. You all mobile choice on this world? Just be safe. Are we able to? I think because we have we got two points last time. Right. We have a uh, oh, few points. Let's do let's do multiple choice. Yeah, please. Okay. I'm sorry, Joe. Your, your multiple choice options are: Is it A. Ellen Ripley, B. Sarah Connor, D. Dutch, or C. The T. Eight Hundred? I or really D. think it's Dutch. Dutch. Yes. Okay. I, I, I Dutch. didn't know if he needed a last name. A Dutch file answer. Unlimited power trip for the one point steal. Is Sarah Connor? I think. I think Sarah so. Connor. Yeah. Sarah Connor, final answer. And your winners, by way of knockout, unlimited power trip. Um, the answer was Sarah Connor. Um, without the steal, I think it still would have been a knockout anyway. Um, still a fantastic performance um, throughout. It's a quote, something that undoes a lot of people. I think putting up five points in a quote round is still pretty good. Um, we're going to jump both teams to the back, and I'm going to just well, I'm not just going to jump on the power trip to the back, to be honest. We're going to go straight to the end of this because I have no one to banter with. We've been over this. <laughs> Golden Thieves, um, <laughs> unlucky today. Um, yeah. 20, 29 to <laughs> yes. 29 to 16. That was... I um, knew, I knew as soon as they picked Wizarding World first, I yeah, knew that was going to happen. I knew that was going to happen. That's why I was hoping we were going to have the lead in round one. Yeah. Um, it didn't w work out that way. Um, I still think me and Brian have great chemistry, and we've come exactly. a long way since our first match. Yeah, um, there were definitely there were definitely points in the match where your chemistry showed. I think um, your collaboration on the the Kirk answer and the Venom answer. I think there's a the, the collaboration is clearly there. Um, yeah. It's just, you're at a stage where it's the number four seed. They are, you know, you've playing, got yeah, playing against a, a great team like that, man. You have but, a former yeah. geek champ in their team, and it's around yeah. one of the tournament. The questions aren't necessarily going to be on a very high level. So, absolutely, for high level players, it's more likely that high scores are going to come out. But I still think you showed some great chemistry. Um, is there anyone out there once the tournament sort of finishes that you might want to look at for a redemption match? Uh, if you'll have us back, of course, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, if he goes um, back, uh, probably maybe Chris Diaz's team or maybe yeah. um, or Ryan Payne's team. Yeah. I know they're good too. Yeah, or uh, if he's he's a geek, uh, Jordan, Jordan Owens. If he's in, is yeah, geek, geek, I'll, I'll take on him. No, right. we'll definitely be bearing that in mind. Um, coming into it, um, I still think you know five points in quotes are still very good. Um, I, if anyone knows me, knows there's never a quotes in my match because I always take it off. So I really uh, <laughs> on that. Really, well, DC, you could have sunk us last time. We didn't want to take another chance on that. Yeah, we wanted to try something else. That's that's an absolutely fair play to you. I think you put up a great fight. Um, we just came up against a team that were on tremendous form today. Uh, what can you do against the perfect round and a perfect game from David? Yeah, no, exactly. yeah, David had the perfect game. Well, can thanks a lot, Joe. I appreciate you having us, and we'll be back around next time. We will. We look we look forward to seeing you. Take it easy. Thanks, guys. So we now move on to our winners. Unlimited power trip, which this is going to be an, un an unlimited power trip now. Um, you'll edit anything you don't like, so the floor is yours. Uh, Congratulations on the perfect game, brother. Congratulations <laughs> on the perfect game. Um, I mean, it's a rough draw in round number one, <laughs> being uh, yeah. you know the 14th ranked and you're playing the four. And uh, I'll be honest, I think four was a little bit low uh, of an S, you know, of an estimation. If it weren't for those cursed young justice, um, I think we would have been even higher up in the rankings. This match would have never happened at all. But we take what we can. Uh, I mean, David likes the Wizarding World. I think it's all right. I know a few things about it, I guess. Uh, and when we got the categories, we were like, oh, this is this is a trap. Because it's, it's going to be Wizarding World or DCEU. We're pretty darn good at both of them. Uh, so let's let's take one and uh, let's see what the other team does with it. And what do you know? A knockout. 
it's unfortunate for them, but very yeah. fortunate for us. They could have they could have a very good uh, a few good pulls in yeah. in quotes, uh, and that's as you said that's a category that not a lot of people want in round two. We were counting on it to be on round three, honestly. Uh, that was a bold move, and they put up some points. But yeah, I mean, round one was really where the gap was when we got six points, and the extra point helped. With six points, we knew we were we were in a position where if we went first, we could put the pressure on them with Wizarding World. And I was hoping uh, your questions wouldn't sink me for round one of the tournament. You know. Uh so yeah. He, yeah, it went well. I mean, everything kind of fell into place today. So, yeah, we're happy. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> like you said, it's, it's round one of the tournament. There's there's a lot more matches to come. Um, I think both played really well, and once and just like um, just like the golden things, I think the, the chemistry is definitely there. I mean, Alex with that worm tail straight in with that yeah. worm tail. I thought that was that mm -hmm. was a great moment. Um, yeah, because I I wasn't remembering it. So you saved my perfect game, Alex. <laughs> Yeah, this this team will always push. If we think we know it, we'll bet. We'll, we'll yeah. bet too oh, every yeah. single time for no reason. It will cost us a game at some point. But until then, we <laughs> always a pleasure. Um, thanks for being here and like, making me host on my own. <laughs> and now I'm going to close on my own. Thank you very much. Well, that's it. It wasn't a complete disaster, um, and it was over a little bit quicker which makes my life a lot easier um so from everyone here at on tour thank you uh to david to alex to brian to brandon adelaide in the back uh everyone for watching and as always i like Alex to say movie trivia community you stay classy join us once again for another game of the tournament bye <laughs>